in the rain which is not what I expected to be saying this morning because we are in Phoenix Arizona literally in the middle of the desert and it is raining just look you ever seen a cactus like this many cactuses under rain madness anyways I'm in Phoenix Arizona today to test a McLaren the new McLaren ironically spider convertible version of the 720s and it's raining it's not going so well so far, is it? Yeah. But there are a lot of other YouTube people around, so we're going to be talking with a bunch of them. And we're also going to be having a great look at the 720S. Now, I've already reviewed the 720S Coupe, so I'm going to be linking that video around somewhere. Because, you know, knowing McLaren, knowing how they usually do their spider versions, they're quite similar. So we're going to try and take a little bit of a different way of looking at the car today. Anyways, I won't bore you with much more. I'm walking to breakfast, and we're going to get this, uh, this day started. Try and find some other... Um, YouTube peeps for you guys to see. Got some food now. Here he is. You are such a prick. <laughs> this is why. This is why YouTubers aren't on. <laughs> what is that? What is that? No. Now I've just got bacon. What is that? It's not that good. It's not that good. Mushroom. Oh really? Well, anyways, look, we've got vehicle virgins, supercars of London, and the J Dubs team. How are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've been up since 2.30 this morning. Are you dealing okay with the time difference here? Yeah? Okay, I'm glad. I was worried about you, yeah. I'm glad you're doing fine. <laughs> hey, Tim? Yo! Look, who else is here? Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, we got Say hi, guys. I'm Shmi. Yeah, we're yeah. here. Hi, guys. I'm Shmi. Can you give us the classic? Hi, guys. I'm Shmi. Hey. Yay! We just had it twice in one video. There we go. Yeah, we're about to go for a presentation. First yes, presentation. And then we're going to drive the car. <laughs> Whilst well, Paul updates his social media, we're just looking at some of the cars that are here. There are three colours. So there's this silver, and then right there, that gold. This is our car. We're going to be driving this one. Aztec gold is the colour. It's very cool, actually. This is the Belize colour. Very, very pretty. The silver, actually, is really nice on the silver wheels. Man. Okay, let's hop in. And even though the weather's not great, I think we're still going to take the roof off. I think Paul's in the car. Ugh! Oh, very nice. Look at this carbon everywhere. Hello, hello. Uh, you ready? Your ride awaits. My ride awaits. Okay. Lovely spec in here. It is. It is a nice spec. I do think I prefer the silver. You prefer the silver? I think so. Yeah. I'm looking at this above you. This yeah. is very cool. This roof. You can press this button and it goes from 95% tint, right, to 30. Got it. Oh, yeah. How cool is that? So apparently when you lock the car, no one can A, see in, and B, it keeps it nice and cool for you when you come back. How very fancy. How very fancy. Right, anyways, we're driving, how long do we have? 89, 89 miles to a lunch stop in some rain. Are we yeah, well, down? this car can. We can, put put this, the, we can put this window down. Put the window down. This one has a sports exhaust, actually, and it can take the roof off up to 50 kilometers an hour. 650S is 30 kilometers an hour. It's not Fun bad. fact. It's not bad at all, is it? Anyways, let's hit the road and then once we have a few more sort of impressions of the car, shall we report back and I'll be driving it. would live our lives in the future and a photo which captures that 
brilliantly. This is what happens if Paul and this I... Is the, this is the truth about YouTubers. The truth about YouTubers, yeah. So if we had money and we had the choice between building a house and spending it on a car, this is literally the combination that we would end up with. No house, but a I had a, I had a Lamborghini and I lived in my mum. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So did I. I had a Lotus and I lived at my parents' house. So this is literally the YouTuber's guide to, uh, to becoming successful as a car YouTuber, yeah. Anyway, this car does look sick though out here. I tell you what, when you, when you actually look at it, like with the aero up, and everything like the wheel design is perfect it is a really cool color as well yeah i think mclaren nailed the colors because it's really important especially on like launch colors yeah to, to make show it. off the lines and everything oh, it's insane and this color in the uae will sell really well because if it gets covered in sand you'd never tell <laughs> there you go but no this one's really nice i mean they spec them out massively this one's the luxury pack so it starts at 246 000 pounds starting price and then it's got about 50 to 60 thousand in options so this is a three hundred plus thousand pound car. Yeah, it's, it's very expensive. I mean, it does have carbon fiber all over the place. Look at that. Should I have a go behind the wheel then? I reckon it's about time. Yeah. Let's do it. Right, the roof has come back on now. Because, Thank um, God. Yeah. I know the, the rain was getting a little bit too intense for us. I've got three other 720s spiders in front of us. Ironically, or rather, you know. It's kind of good actually. Last time when we reviewed the coupe, we were together as well, weren't exactly. we? Exactly. So we both know this car pretty well, the 720S platform. So there's Sport Series, Super Series, and Ultimate Series on the car, right? And this sits as the Super Series convertible. The only one they currently got. And it does have some pretty Super Series power. <laughs> Stats, it's over 700 horsepower. Uh, it's got 540 newton meters per ton. This car. Oh no, that's not what it is. It's 540, 540 PS, PS per, ton. per ton. 540 PS per ton. Which is the best power to weight ratio in its category of supercar convertibles. Yes, but those other supercar convertibles are also hardcore versions. Exactly. So it's like perfect. 488 piece to it. Yeah, perfect. Fair. Yeah, exactly. So it's impressive. Really, really perfect impressive design. figures. Yeah. And this car also does not 62.8 seconds. You guys already know that. We've spoken about it many, many times. The 720S is an incredibly quick car. But what they wanted to create, what they keep telling us, is they wanted to build the most complete convertible supercar possible. Now, complete means quick, comfortable, usable, efficient, everything as a package. And I personally think that as a package, in terms of creating a complete car, they have absolutely nailed it. This car does everything. It really when you does. think about it. It really does. Um, we'll come on to a few things, you know, the big talking point with this car is whether it's got character and things like that. We'll come on to that later. But in terms of a mechanical object as a car, which has many different purposes, it nails it. It's unbelievably fast. It is so usable. It's beautiful in here. The interior is gorgeous. Everything feels top quality. When you've got gadgets like this, uh, sunroof, which when you press it, it's I can gone. now look at the sun. I can stare at the sun and it not hurt my eyes. But that's exactly why they did it. They thought, what if the passenger really wants to just yeah. stare at the sun? Well, now you can do that. But, you know, it's got... These little things that McLaren add to the interiors or to the exteriors, these little gadgets, these little details, which are fantastic. And, um, you know, I, I've spoken to you about how it drives as well. It's brilliant. It's so planted. It's got a lot of grip. The steering wheel has a decent amount of feel. A lot of grip? Be mad. We just went side by side. <laughs> In general, it has quite a lot of grip. It's got, it's got some really smart area. Look at these guys. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Good to see you! And then, oh, we've got four. We've got a silver one as well. So we've got two Belize ones, two other, it's called Aztec Gold. Aztec Gold. This color. And then, uh, I don't know the exact connotation for the silver. Um, they do look cool, don't they? Oh, do you know what? Going, this one, go, this color. Going sorry. back to when we first drove the 720S, and because it was still so new, 
the design was so disruptive in comparison to uh, McLarens of old and supercars of old. But I love the look of the 720S now. Yeah. I didn't like it to begin with, but I was in you. love with it. And seeing them on the road is so cool. And the spider actually looks really cool because it's got those buttresses, those flying buttresses, which are finished in uh, in glass now, so you can yeah. actually see through them. So they're practical, but they also just look quite cool. Yeah, the McLaren have really upped the practicality of the 720S Spider to make it a complete yeah. supercar. Yeah. And there are a few elements that they've done on the exterior and interior to just make it that much more usable without losing any of the aero or drag or performance that you get from the coupe. Yeah. Because it is actually a really hard challenge to create the convertible version of the coupe. And not as fast. Yeah. Zero to 60 and the same top speed with the roof button. It's 212 miles an hour. Yeah, what's mad is it's 202 with the roof down. Like, can you imagine? Roof down. 200 miles an hour! I, 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 I can't <laughs> imagine. That's just mental, isn't it? Oh, it does look cool. This colour, this gold, is awesome. Look at that. Yeah, we're gold. basically just B rolling our own car. Yeah, that's all we're doing. It's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, 
all fueled by a passion for cars. Yeah. And that's the real secret behind and it being the car you, you choose. If I had to say to anyone, had, you know, people who come out and say, you need to really, really love the cars. More than anything. Yeah. Here's a thought. Go on. Think about how ridiculous this car already is. Think about the LT version of that. Yeah, I know. I do think about it a lot. Dare I say, probably the best car Could well be definitely sub a million pounds. I think. Yeah. It's going to be faster than all of the stuff that's over a million quid. Yes. It's think think of the. Think of the step <laughs> up. Yeah, that's true. This is a as well. Yeah, it's the heat. Think of the step up the 605 LT was over the 650S. Yeah. Apply that to this. I'd say that was like a 30% yeah. step up. Apply that to this. Like, where do you then go from there? Well, that, this is what I love about McLaren. And I love it more so because I don't like Ferrari. <laughs> but Ferrari are playing catch up with McLaren now, and McLaren Every have only existed since the 12C. But Ferrari 488 Pista, when they launched it in Geneva, they're like, this car has 720 PS. And McLaren, are they're like, well, we did that last year. Yeah, so when they put out the, when we, yeah, when they bring out their LT version of this, he's going to wipe the floor with it. He's going to wipe the I mean, floor. This already has more power per ton than a piece of Like, just give up for a hurry. <laughs> 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 I just want. Yeah. I want it, it is just crazy. Just put V12s on all your cars and be done with it. Yeah, V12s. It's the only cool. way you're going to have one up on McLaren because McLaren will better track cars than you. Yeah. But they didn't put the V12 Ferraris to have more power. Like 
like this, you get given some B-roll, so some images that they give you of the car, and you maybe notice that you've been seeing some images of the car driving around in perfect sunny weather. That is because we were going to stop and film some shots of it driving, but it's pouring with rain, and like I wouldn't be able to get any good noise clips for you guys. It just wouldn't look good. So just figured I would use the ones that McLaren gave us because they look better. To give you a little bit of an acceleration so we can feel and see what it's like in a spider. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> that was literally just wheel spin. Yeah. We, we didn't go anywhere. Basically. <laughs> just wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. Shows up with the track. We thought it might clear up, so we weren't really able to push the car. So I apologize, but the one thing we can't plan is the weather. So it's not like a hardcore on it review. But all I can say is, as I've mentioned, the car is very impressive. We're gonna take it out now to go film for Paul's video. So a little more driving with him at the wheel. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, that is what I think. Those are my thoughts on the 720S Spider, and also a little bit of an insight into the way we think about cars, buying cars compared to buying a house or anything like that, and how much we are just fueled by this passion for cars, as I'm sure you guys are too. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want plenty more. Cheers, and uh, I'll see you again with another video very soon. Bye bye.